the world's greatest cities attract visitors by the millions, soft targets for the waiting scammers. I'm Connor Woodman. I've travelled the globe writing about all kinds of trade, and now I'm investigating the tourist trail. The guidebooks will tell you exactly what to see, but there's one thing they don't tell you. It's a chapter the thieves don't want written. Using hidden cameras, I'll uncover the scams that are every tourist's nightmare. I want to see what she does, and I want to see how she does it. Hey, the guy's blocking the door. I'll meet the scammers, Why? befriend them, and learn the tricks of the trade. Yes, Got to be joking. Yes. Six times what you yes, charged me to no. get out there. I get scammed, so you don't have to. I'm undercover at Carnival in Rio, and it's madness. I've been swamped by party-goers, and it feels like everyone has their eye on my wallet. You can hear the guys behind her as she's talking about how to take it. Rio is the most visited city in the Southern Hemisphere. For four days every February or March, five million people descend on the city for what has become one of the biggest parties in the world, Carnival. Despite the authorities' efforts to police the festivities, it remains a real magnet for street criminals. I may look like I'm here to party, but in fact, I'm here to get behind the scenes and reveal just how Rio's street hustling economy really operates. First up is Copacabana, one of Rio's most visited beaches and a real hotbed for petty thieves. The crew have been staking out Copacabana Beach and we found a couple of guys operating as pickpockets. So I'm going to pose as a tourist and set up in the middle of their patch. I'm going to be using this bag as bait. It contains a secret camera. I'm also going to be filming them from a pair of sunglasses that contains another secret camera. Let's go and catch a thief. To pull off this elaborate sting operation, we have multiple cameras covering all angles. As well as my sunglasses and the camera disguised in the bum bag, we also have members of the crew posing with what look like tourist cameras. Bernardo, the camera assistant, has a shot from behind. Translator Leticia has struck up a conversation with the girls in front of me in order to get a clear view. And it's not long before we're in business. Sorry. Hello? Uh, look for me. Sorry? Look for me. Uh, swing. You're going for okay, a swing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, you want me to look after your stuff? Yeah, OK. okay. No. Leave, it, leave it here, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no problem. How long will you be? Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah, yeah. Hot, hot. It's Very hot. hot. Very hot. So two minutes. Okay. 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 Two, minutes. two minutes. Okay. Fine. No problem. Yeah, my bag's gone. It's convenient. I was caught completely unaware, but luckily the five cameras missed nothing. Here's what happened. Pickpocket number one comes up and gains my trust. Whilst he distracts me, pickpocket number two approaches from behind and is caught red-handed on hidden cameras, stealing my bag. The 
Tisha, are you standing by in case I need some translation here? Ooh. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just a second, just a second. One moment, one moment before, before you take these. Where's my, my bag? My bag is gone. No stand. My bag. My bag under the chair. My bag. Gone. Same time, same time as you're talking to me. Hobaru. Same time you're talking to me. No, 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 no. Yeah. Eu não tenho a ver com isso, não. Right, this is you. Come in. She's with me too. A gente é a equipe. A gente está aqui trabalhando junto. A gente estava observando. It's okay. It's no problem. It's no problem. I, I know what happened. Mas eu não tenho a ver com isso. Não fiz isso. Come on, come on, come on. There's no problem. I don't want to make any trouble. No, no problem with the police or anything like that. Just want to talk to you a little bit. What's your name? Connor. Junior. Junior. Connor. Pleased Connor. To, yeah, pleased to meet you, Junior. Okay. <laughs> Junior realizes that honesty is his best policy, and he calls his sidekick back to return my bag. Ah, the accomplice. Ah. It was really good. It was really good, even though I was... He doesn't want to be in the film. Luckily, Junior does agree to speak on camera. That's quite a neat trick that you just play. You know, to distract me by talking to me. I completely was focused on you and didn't realise that your friend was stealing my bag there. Pretty, that's pretty good. <laughs> Você estava de bobeira, suas coisas estavam ali, você não percebeu e a gente agiu, entendeu? Are you always on the, you always on the lookout for opportunities? É, todo momento, né? And is, is, is now during the carnival, is, that, is it particularly good time for doing this kind of thing? Melhor momento que tem, melhor momento. E é o momento que a gente consegue fazer o nosso décimo terceiro salário, né? É o tempo que a gente consegue fazer a nossa grana para juntar para o ano inteiro. So how much money can you make during carnival? How much? <laughs> Dá para gente arrumar aí mais ou menos, sei lá, uns 8 mil, 10 mil reais assim. That's pretty good. That's like that's nearly a couple of thousand dollars a day. As a skilled operator, Junior has various tricks up his sleeve. Using me as an accomplice, he agrees to show me another of his well-honed techniques. Yeah, spots in the bag? Yeah. OK. To demo the scam, we're using two crew members to sit in as unsuspecting tourists. Uh, you've, seen a, you've seen a bag behind you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Once the bag has been spotted, the operation begins. I look at your shoes. Fine. You look at mine. Look for me. I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm okay. looking. As the lookout, my responsibility is to pick the opportune moment to take the bag. Yeah. It's essential to move fast. Within seconds, we have the loot and are away from the scene of the crime. How many bags do you think are buried under Copacabana Beach? Se tivesse ainda não tivesse mais esse trator que revira a areia, eu acho que até mais que sei lá uns 200 cemitérios de bolsas aí. I've barely had time to put on my sunscreen, and already I'm on first name terms with one of Rio's hustlers. Taxi. 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 It can't always be this easy. Can it? Hola. Hola. Tudo bem? Tudo bem. Primeira vez em Rio? First time carnival. First time. First time carnival. Ah, yeah. Oh, Deus. Meio da rua. It's crazy, huh? Yeah. Louco, crazy. Yeah. Most cities I've been to have some form of taxi trick. My guess is Rio will be no exception. Pão de açúcar. Oh, the Sugarloaf Mountain. Yeah. Bonito, né? Yeah. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. What else in Rio? Women. Women. <laughs> it's beautiful women. Beautiful women. The, world, the, the, the best uh, woman in the world, no? Okay. Best, you think so? <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a short ride along the beach, and it shouldn't cost more than 20 reals. 
or ten dollars. How much is that? Six dollars. Yeah, there you go. Okay, sir. But as soon as I hand the money over, it's clear that something is wrong. Sir, sir, so tá me dando cinco reais, dezesseis reais, sir. Você me deu cinco. Yeah. No, I gave you fifty. Tá faltando, sir. I gave you fifty. So I gave you five, five, five reais, sir. Five. No, no, no. So I'm sorry. No, no, no. I gave you. I'm sorry, sir. So I gave you five reais, sir. I gave you fifty. Okay, sir. So I gave you five reais. No, sir. Pode olhar, sir. Me deu cinco reais, sir. It's tá dando dezesseis, sir. Ah, gave you fifty. So me deu cinco reais. So cinco é five, five reais. My friend, my friend. I gave you fifty. I gave you fifty, not five. No, so me deu cinco. No, 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 no cinquenta. No cinquenta. Okay, wait, 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 wait. The driver refuses to back down, and I'm getting nowhere. It's time to reveal my sting. See the camera. See the camera. Okay. We're filming. We're filming. Wait, one moment. One moment. One moment. Old taxi trick. It's fine. I I understand what he's doing. He can keep the money if he comes to talk to us a little bit about uh, some some that trick and some of his other tricks. Amigo, tá de boa. Ele entende. Ele já percebeu o que tu fez. Um, Bom que sejamos amigos, né? Que ele não tá, tem uma, uma impressão de ter ter vindo aqui no Rio e ter acontecido uma coisa desagradável. Ok. So the old switch the note trick. Ah, isso é bem antigo. How do you do it? Eu tenho já as notas preparadas, de, ela, ela de certa forma no meu, no meu bolso ou debaixo da minha perna. Assim que a pessoa entra no carro, que eu, que eu vejo que ela é uma vítima fácil, eu já tenho isso preparado comigo. And the, uh, did you ever get caught doing it? Pode ser que sim, mas quando uh, a gente percebe na pessoa que tem a possibilidade de fazer isso, é 100% seguro. Porque a pessoa quando vem para cá a primeira vez, fica. Né? Vendo isso tudo aí, fica... não está se importando, ok. <risos> não tem estresse, você não fica nervoso, porque é uma coisa que você faz praticamente todo dia. É, também, né? Dependendo do... Né? My driver, Laro, is clearly proud of his skills. He tells me he is what Brazilians call a malandro, a lovable rogue who uses dexterity and charisma to get his way. O verdadeiro malandro é aquele que convence você de que você está errado. Acho que no caso dos 50, ele deu 5, não deu 50. Tá certo? É isso aí. So a good malandro can convince a tourist of anything. É, vou botar aí 95%. O meu negócio é no desenrolado. Entrou no carro, entendeu? Aí é tudo no desenrolado. Se deixar eu falar, vai acontecer. You know, you just have to love Rio. Even their scammers operate with this kind of charm and a smile. They even have their own word for it, malandraging. You know, it's scamming, but it's it's scamming plus. They take it to a whole new level. It's clear that for many people, scamming is a way of life. It's ingrained in their psyche. Night falls. It's time to leave the beach and head to the birthplace of the Malandro, Lapa. Right in the center of Rio, Lapa is famous for its nightlife, a heady mix of party goers, prostitutes, transvestites, and drug users. It's the old bohemian heart of Rio and a real playground for sinners, where it's said anything can happen. Ah, beer for me. Parlo inglês. Don't, don't speak English? No, no. No, you just want me to buy you a drink. Drink, vem, come for me here. Come for me here. Come for me here. I'll buy you a drink. What do you want? Faz uma caipirinha aqui pra mim, por favor. You get one for me too. Ah? And one for me too. Vai ter só uma, tá? Metá, metá. Não vem perder. Tá bem, né? Você não tem dois? Não. Por que não? Porque eu... Dois? Não, só uma, só uma. It's not long before I make a new friend. This girl seems pretty insistent, but I'm not keen to share a drink with a total stranger. What are you having? É... Beer. Beer? Beer? Yeah. Okay, beer. 
Tu, 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 tu. Carnaval, querido. Yeah. <laughs> no? No? It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Olha como eu sou bonita. Gostou? Apertadinho aqui. No, 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 it's fine. Depois você vai pra onde? I'm not telling you. Ah, eu não posso saber esse segredo, não. A gente pode ir para outro lugar reservado. Prostituta. Ah, oh, okay. Is it only, only for tourists? Turistas e brasileiros. She's certainly forthcoming. Junior, the beach hustler, told me about prostitutes spiking drinks with a drug they call Goodnight Cinderella. I wonder if that's why she wanted to share a drink with me. There's only one way to find out. How does it work? Como é que faz? É um remédio de dormir forte que bota no seu copo aí, querido. Você toma, dorme, acorda só dois dias depois, sem nada. Até a virgindade vai embora. Right. If you put it in my drink now, how long does it take before I start to feel, you know, woo woozy and fall asleep? 15 minutes. Okay, so you have to rob me here in the street. Não, quando depois que eu te desse, você ia ficar, você já não ia ter mais noção do que eu tava fazendo. Aí eu já te levava para um hotel, pegava seu número do cofre, pegava tudo e ia roubar e ia embora. I can't believe what I'm hearing. This is an extraordinary confession. Do you have some on you now? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do you want? Let me hold it for you. No, no, no. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I'm, I'm keeping. I'm keeping this one very close. I'm going to put the remedy. No, but then I'll eat my hand. Well, it was really nice meeting you, and um, I'm, I'm glad I bought you a drink and you didn't buy me a drink. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> 24 hours in Rio. A bag stolen, scammed in a cab, almost drugged and robbed of everything I own. I think I'm in the right place. Most people come to Carnival to watch the big samba parade, which takes place over Carnival weekend. But the parties start days before. Junior has invited me to a street party in Santa Teresa, one of Rio's oldest neighborhoods on a hill above Lapa. So t tell me a bit about this party that we're going to. Todo mundo que vem pro Brasil geralmente vem pra cá. Então esse bloco surgiu já tem muito tempo. E é um sucesso. É uma união de, de classes. E assim vai juntando. O playboy, o rico, o cara famoso, que é ator. Entendeu? Então isso é uma, uma união de tribos, na verdade. During carnival, the street parties, like the beaches, attract hordes of tourists and offer great work opportunities for pickpockets. I'm going to put a secret camera on you here. Okay, we put, put this around here. To catch a thief, okay. we're going to use a thief. You need to keep an eye on all right, my wallet. I'm going to put my secret camera here around the back as well. So if someone comes in from behind, we can see it getting stolen. OK? Oh. Yeah? Yeah. We're going to be covered. We're going to be covered. If there's anyone out there, we'll, get... we'll see them. We'll see them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, For okay. sure. For sure. For sure. OK? <laughs> All right. Vamos carnaval? Carmelitas? Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. As well as juniors and my hidden cameras, we're also accompanied by my translator, Leticia, who's carrying a camera disguised in her bag. But turning snitch in Brazil isn't a laughing matter, and we've been told to be very careful. How do, we, how do we spot thieves in the crowd? What kind of things are we looking out for? Porque tá todo mundo fantasiado, todo mundo diferente, não tem como identificar exatamente a pessoa que vai fazer isso. Mas acontece o tempo todo. 
if you were pickpocketing here, what kind of things would you be looking out for? Exactamente o que você está fazendo. Wallets in back pockets. Muita gente que não de repente nem faz isso, mas de ver por gringo, tá uma porra, não vamos pegar. With the party in full swing, we get further into the crowds. There's a surge, and we find ourselves in the middle of a mob of people. Some of my fellow party goers are making me feel on edge. Call me paranoid, but everyone looks suspicious. It's a really horrible feeling. Yeah, I can't get out of it. But there isn't a way out. I'm trapped. I was warned, and I was expecting it, but the thief was so skilled, I didn't feel my wallet being stolen. I can't be sure who took it, but looking back at the hidden footage, the man in the blue and white shirt, disguised with big sunglasses and an Afro wig, is hanging suspiciously behind us. My bag cam captures him getting closer to me, and sees him raising his hand in what looks like a move to get into my back pocket. But what's incredible is despite multiple cameras and Junior watching my back, I still can't be 100% sure of the culprit's identity. Even if it was the man in blue and white, he was without doubt a slick operator. So what is it that motivates guys like Junior to become pickpockets? He lives in one of Rio's many notorious slums, Favela Taveras Basto. What's it like growing up in a favela? O cara mora aqui numa casa dessa com três irmãos, pai, mãe, tia, prima. Ele vai no médico de manhã com a mãe dele, tá todo mundo abarrotado no ônibus. E ele vê um carro do lado que saindo da garagem, de um apartamento de um por andar. O cara com um carro, uma pessoa no carro, sabe? Isso vai te causando revolta, isso vai acabar te fazendo partir pro lado errado, né? Perder a razão. Saúde. 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 Eu adolescente, estudando, fazendo as coisas certas, passando de ano. Pô, aí chegando no final do ano, queria ter uma bicicleta, não tinha, entendeu? E assim tu vai, a tua vida, e... acabei roubando uma, e foi se tornando grande a história, entendeu? Isso é um vício. A adrenalina, você se sente eufórico, você quer fazer. Quando você faz, tem aquela satisfação. E a galera que tá contigo, pô, caraca! Tu é sinistro, tu roubou o gringo, entendeu? É um jogo mesmo. Assim, pelo menos eu tava levando e sempre levei como um jogo. Uma hora eu tô ganhando, uma hora eu tô perdendo. E assim vai. Sure, being a pickpocket has much to do with poverty. But not everyone in the shanty town is a thief. 
for Junior, it's as much about the thrill. All of Rio is getting ready for Carnival's main attraction, the Samba Parade. A fierce competition between the city's top Samba schools, who parade their skills in a highly orchestrated show. The schools represent different neighbourhoods in Rio. Like football clubs, they're embedded in the communities and attract fanatical supporters. It's a huge industry. Victory in the parade is worth over two and a half million dollars. Fans will go to any lengths to help their school win. Junior has asked me to support his team, Portella, in traditional style with some good old-fashioned magic. This offers me the perfect opportunity to investigate what I suspect to be another con. Macumba is an Afro-Brazilian religion and ceremonies are advertised all over town. I'm putting my money behind my team, but tourists looking for a supposedly authentic experience sign up for all sorts of rituals for health, love and good luck. OK, I've set my meeting up with a Macumba, but first I have to fill out a shopping list. Strange shopping list that includes a mirror, a doll, some white clothes, a headdress, some cloths, even some animals. Right, let's go shopping. Aruda. Apparently, these items are all necessary to perform my ritual. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> I trust you. I'm not sure what all these things are for, but I've been given the address of a Macumba market, which conveniently sells all the items on my list. How many stores do you know that sell popcorn, coffins, swords, headdress, white? Kind of spooky, that. Do you have to have some kind of commercial arrangement with the Macumbas that send customers here? Oh wow, so you've got you got free wishes for life. <laughs> Who are you hoping is gonna win the, the Samba Drome competition? Salgueiro. We're on different sides then, because I'm taking all this to go and do my ritual for Portela. Não, mas eu já fiz pro Salgueiro. 65. It's not cheap, is it? It's all quite convenient that you make an appointment with the Macumba and the Macumba tells gives you a shopping list and you come to one shop and pretty much knock everything off the shopping list and the only thing that the shop stocks is the stuff on the shopping list. It's a nice little arrangement, isn't it? Obrigado. OK, ciao. But I'm still not done. All right, obrigado. Ciao. $70 later, I'm kitted out for my ritual. Right, well, I'm off to meet the priest to do my macumba. Feels a little bit odd. I've got a bag full of bric-a-brac, an outfit that makes me look like one of the village people, and two birds in a box. But I don't want anyone accusing me of doing anything less than everything in my power, or indeed anyone else's power, to make sure that Portella win the competition. As well as the $70 I've spent on my Macumba kit, an upfront payment of $300 has secured me an appointment with a Macumba priest. A waterfall in one of Rio's national parks is our rendezvous. This is starting to feel less funny and just a bit creepy. I come bearing gifts. 
My priest is a man of few words, so I'm not really sure what to expect. Okay, not, not the face, not the face. Um. Is this the bit where we sing YMCA? I have no idea what's going on, but I guess I'll just have to go with the flow. been beaten with a bunch of leaves, dunked in freezing water, and now I'm having a pigeon rubbed in my face. And all for just short of $400. I can't help but feel I've been taken for a bit of a ride. I've never seen anything like this before, so I'm a little bit suspicious. <laughs> 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 and do you get many tourists come and do this? Yes. Really? Yes. And what kind of things do they ask for? Trabalho para o amor, amarrações. Trabalho para saúde. Are there sort of two sides to this? Is there a kind of a, a more serious side that you believe in? Tem um tem um lado que só faz o folclore. E para outras pessoas você faz a realidade, né? A verdade das pessoas, né? You don't look very serious right now. You've got a cheeky smile on your face. I nem quero me ver sério. Deixa eu assim mesmo. Você não vai gostar de me ver sério. You think it's going to work? Com certeza. Acho que bastante axé. I've got to say I have my doubts. But the proof, as they say, is in the pudding. So when the results are announced and we see whether Portela have won or not, we'll know whether all this was worthwhile. Portela are parading tonight, and tickets to the Sambadrome where the event takes place are the hottest in town. So, so sector nine, it's 540. What's the price of your boxes? <whistles> really? 7,500 rails. Well, I've been doing a bit of research into the cost of a, a ticket to go and see the Samba parade, and to say it varies would be an understatement. The cheapest price I've been quoted is 240 US dollars. The most expensive seats in the house uh, can go for $5,000. Um, for the main tourist section, uh, Sector 9, which is where most tourists go, uh, the prices go from about 380 US dollars up to 800 US dollars, depending on who you speak to. They're the same tickets, just one agency charges more than twice the price of another agency. It's straightforward scalping. But if I want to experience the greatest show on earth, I have to accept being charged over the odds. Well, here we go. This is it. Months of planning and preparation and God knows how much money have gone into tonight, the biggest party in the world. They're off. Good luck, Portela. Woo! This is it, the centre of all the action. This is the middle of the carnival. You can see all the way down the Samba Drome, the Portela floats as they're coming up.
With the carnival centerpiece now over, I've come to the Madurera district in northwest Rio, home to the Portela Samba School. I'm here for the results of the Samba Parade. For the people in this district, this is like the Ashes, the World Cup, the Champions League and the Super Bowl all rolled into one and they're going to announce the results in about two minutes. With a huge prize up for grabs, there's a lot riding on these results. It's a two-horse race now and unfortunately Portela aren't one of them. In the previous nine years, the same school has won six times. Is Beja Flor a much bigger school? No, 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 no. No way of again this small. É muito bonita, mas é caso de money ela acaba ganhando. Where does the money come from? Bicheiro. Sim, 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 sim. Bicheiro. São presidentes de honra, presidentes de honra. Eles têm muito money. Aí eles injetam money. And where do the Bucheros get the money from? The jogo do bicho. É um jogo do bicho. É um jogo proibido no Brasil. So, no Bucheros, no win. No, no. Ah, é roubo, roubo demais. Mas isso é Brasil, é Rio de Janeiro. Well, it looks as though my Macumba magic didn't do the trick for Portela today. It's not going to be their year. People here are pretty cross. They feel as though they've been robbed, and they're saying that the schools who did well today get a lot of money from these guys called Bucheros, and they get their money from a game called a Jugo de Bicho that people play on the streets of Rio. It's not just Portela supporters that seem unhappy that certain samba schools are being bankrolled by Bucheros. The newspapers are also making the link with the carnival's main tourist event. Bucheros, they put money into the Samba Parade. You know, carnival wouldn't be what it is without these guys and their support. What I don't understand is that if you look inside the newspaper, three of the Bucheros who fund the most successful Samba Parades last night have recently been thrown in jail. There's no doubt there's a connection between the Bucheros, the illicit Jogo de Bicho game, and some samba schools. But why are the Bucheros so keen to invest huge sums of money into the samba schools and the parade? What's in it for them? And why are three being arrested? Is it due to their involvement in the illegal Jogo de Bicho? Or is there more to it? Playing the game for myself would be a good place to start. But to do that, I'm going to need some local knowledge. So, Lara, can you take me to play the Jugo de Bicho? Olha, eu não quero me envolver com, essa, com isso aí, entendeu? Questão do bicho. Eu posso deixar você num lugar que você pode encontrar, entendeu? E outra coisa, eles não gostam de ser filmado porque é proibido. Okay. Thanks, Laro. Thank Obrigado. It's funny that Laro wouldn't help me actually find a Hugo de Bicho player. He was a bit nervous about it. So I'm going to go and try and find a game on the street, and I'm going to have to film undercover. So I'll be wearing my glasses cam, and I'll also be filming from my little bag. And Letitia, who's going to be my translator, will be filming from a secret camera as well. It so all has to be completely undercover. Uh, hello. Do you know I can play uh, Jogo de Bicho? No, Proibido, no Rio, what? Hmm? No Rio, Proibido. It's Proibido? Yeah, but where? Is it no, somewhere? No, Proibido. Down the line. Can't play anymore. Hello. Do you know where I can play uh, Jogo de Bicho around here? Do you know where I can play Jogo de Bicho? Do of course he knows. They don't want to get involved because it's illegal, because we can be police looking for it. Yeah. Do you know where I can play some Jugo de Bicho around here? Excuse me. Do you know where I can play um, Jugo de Bicho around here? Você tem que ir para a cadeira. Segura uma esquina, você vai para a cadeira. At last, some helpful people. 
and with something to go on, it doesn't take long to spot what the Brazilians call an apontador, or bookie. Lauro told me the Jogo do Bicho is a lottery-type draw, where players bet on a series of numbers associated with animals. A gente quer jogar. OK, yeah, one on the eagle, because of Portela. Yeah. Is there a horse? Cavalo. Yeah. Yeah, the dog. Oh, yeah, dog. And what time is the is the draw? Three o'clock. And where where is the where is the draw? I don't understand. He's saying uh, they passed to him the information of the draw. Probably. Right. You, you don't even know where the draw happens. You don't know when the sorteio. É segredo. É segredo. A gente que trabalha aqui não sabe. Tchau. 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 Boa tarde. Obrigada. Well, I found an apontador and I have played Hugo de Bicho. Unfortunately, he wasn't happy to talk to me on camera, although he would take my bet. It's funny, once I knew where to find him, it's obvious that all the people that I asked earlier must have known where he was. He's right across the street from their stores, which just shows you how people feel about this game. Everyone knows where it is and that it goes on, but nobody wants to talk about it. With the exception, that is, of my friend Laro. Who are these Bichero characters? Bichero é um cara que ele tem um negócio sujo. Why do the Bicheros put money into the samba schools? O retorno. Aplicam 50, ganham 100. OK, so what you're saying is it's like a money laundering operation. They put they put their illegal money into the Samba School and then they get legitimate money back through ticket sales and sponsorship and presumably prize money as well? Com certeza, com certeza. É isso mesmo que acontece, entendeu? É um meio de lavar o dinheiro do, da questão do bicho. It's finally making sense. If Laro is right, it seems some of the Samba Schools, and ultimately Carnival's number one tourist attraction, could provide a perfect front for money laundering on a massive scale. And you only have to flick on any news channel in Brazil to see the true magnitude of the racketeering. Operation Finger of God has arrested 49 people with links to the Jogo de Bicho and seized millions of dollars. Dado nós encontramos todo esse dinheiro que será encaminhado ao banco para ser contado. Para você provar lavagem de dinheiro, você tem que provar um crime antecedente. Despite the arrests, allegations of money laundering remain unproven, and confronting a Buxero is nearly impossible at the moment. But through one of our informants, who's asked to remain anonymous, we've managed to track down someone prepared to talk to us. Explain to me what your role is in the in the Jogo de Bicho. Eu sou gerente dos pontos de bicho dessa região do Rio de Janeiro. How big a uh, Buxero is your boss? Grande. So how much can can one of the the top Bucheros make in a day then? Por dia, uns 200, 300 mil. It strikes me that they put an awful lot of money back into the carnival as well. A maioria dos bicheiros são patronos. Eles ajudam. Alguns bicheiros fundaram as escolas. A sociedade faz uma imagem muito negativa dos bicheiros. Não são eles que botam dinheiro nas escolas de samba. I think everybody knows here that a good chunk of the money is coming from these individual patrons who are the head of, of various bichero networks. It's in all the papers, it's it's what everybody says on the streets. <laughs> to an outsider it would look like quite a good way of laundering illegal money to put it into a samba school and then take out the money legitimately as sponsorship and prize money and, and that kind of thing. 
Não posso responder. Não é. sei. Não é da minha alçada isso. Não posso responder isso. Sounds like a good plan, though, doesn't it? Talvez. <laughs> I think I've uncovered as much of this Yoga de Bicho story as I can. You know, there are layers and layers to this, and it's amazing that Danny has said as much as she has. And actually, I think she probably reveals more by what she won't say as what she will. I came here looking for tourist scams. What I didn't expect to discover was that the main show everyone comes to Rio for could well be a front for money laundering. Before leaving the city, I've been invited for dinner with Junior and his family. Patricia. Patricia. Hola, Hola. 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 Junior. Mm. Excellent. Very really nice. Passou carnaval no Rio, gostou? Sim. Assistiu escola? Portela. Portela? Portela? We were robbed. Todo ano. 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 More excited about having a good time, and even kind of when they're, I don't know, when they're up to no good, when they're doing something maybe they shouldn't be doing, they're still doing it with a smile. Mesmo que ele foi assaltado, ele volta. I mean, I'd say to anyone coming here, bring. I was going to say bring a wallet full of cash, but actually bring two wallets full of cash because you'll probably lose the first one. <laughs> Carnival is the land of opportunity for Rio's malandros. At one end of the scale, you have the street hustlers looking to trick the tourist. And at the other, allegations of gangsters using carnival to launder their dirty money. The malandro spirit symbolizes everything that's good and bad about the city. So despite all the scams, I'd come back to Rio in a heartbeat, even during carnival.